MSNBC panel couldn't help but note how pathetic President Donald Trump is demanding that he be popular and as well liked as Drive. Anthony Fauci is in his daily press conference Tuesday, responding to it on her Wednesday show, Wallace showed a clip of Trump whining, woe is me. As the mother of an eight-year-old, this is conduct reprehensible in small children, she said after showing the clip. And it is so unbecoming of our country's leader. I don't even know what to say about it, but the idea that he can't wrap his brain around the fact that Fauci has public support because Fauci is viewed as being motivated by the public good is the piece that I feel endangers all of us. Advertisement Drive Erwin Redliner, the director of the National Center for Disaster Preparedness, explained that Trump's self-pitying is pathetic and incomprehensible. It's a side of him we really haven't quite seen before, but what we're dealing with, Drive. Redliner said. If you combine it with his statements on the hydroxychloroquine, we either have a case of really incurable madness or some sort of intentional manipulation of public opinion around some absolutely dishonest statements about the effect of hydroxychloroquine added to the pantheon of untrue statements that the president has made for, you know, since the beginning of all of this, I can only imagine, and maybe this is some sort of twisted logic in trying to create some image that will help him in November for his re-election. I just don't see how that all works, and he's looking increasingly unstable. And the promotion of this pitiful recurrent, you know, imagination is just one of many. I don't know how they'll create a narrative around Covid in November, but I suppose they'll keep trying. Watch the full discussion below, enjoy good journalism. Then let us make a small request, the Covid crisis has cut advertising rates in half, and we need your help. Like you, we here at Raw Story believe in the power of progressive journalism. Raw Story readers power David K. Johnston's DC report, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans, and legal efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses, and unlike other news outlets, we've decided to make our original content free. But we need your support to do what we do. Raw Story is independent. Binged from corporate overlords, we fight to ensure no one is forgotten. We need your support in this difficult time. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us. Make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigates, or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Click to donate by check. Value Raw Story? Then let us make a small request. The Covid crisis has cut advertising rates in half, and we need your help, like you, we believe in the power of progressive journalism, and we're investing in investigative reporting as other publications give it the axe. Raw Story readers power David K. Johnston's DC report, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans, and efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. We need your support to do what we do. Raw Story is independent. You won't find mainstream media bias here. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us in the future. Make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigates, or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Report typos and corrections to email protected. Let's block ad. Show your love for him. Click the link in description. Thanks for watching.